Hi, today I'm going to be making for you a recipe known as veggie feast. This veggie feast is just a combination of vegetables that you uh, put together and this veggie feast can go with numerous dishes like steamed rice, quinoa. I'll be making another video, quinoa, that will be going with this veggie The great feast. thing about making your own recipes is that, or cooking in your own home, is that you have the option to vary the vegetables to the availability in your area. So right now, I'm going to use a combination of certain vegetables, but do not um, despair. If you do not have those vegetables, just go to your local grocery market or whatever vegetables you have in your garden and try to uh, make Trust the recipe. Me, you're going to come out with some very tasty and flavorful foods. The ingredients that you will need for the veggie feast are one and a half cups of cut up asparagus, one cup of cut up red onion, one cup of cut up um, carrots, half cup of cut up green onion, half cup of cut up cucumbers, one third cup of any bell pepper. I'm using red, you can use yellow or green and that should be fine. I'll start off with a cup of water, but we'll be adding some more water as the need arises. Some Himalayan salt. I'll be starting off with a teaspoon of the Himalayan salt. Some, um, I have um, two tablespoons of grated jalapeno pepper. I'll be using one tablespoon and the other one tablespoon for the quinoa that I'll be making shortly. And into this pot, this pot I've, I've added, added three tablespoons of the hemp oil. I'm going to heat up this oil. When the oil is heated up, and I will start with the vegetables that are a bit hard, and that would um, be the um, green cut up um, beans. So when the oil heats up for about 30 seconds to a minute, then I put in my green beans. And into that, I'm going to be adding a teaspoon of the salt. That might look like a lot, but it will work out perfect after I add the water. And I'll stir this together for about 30 seconds. Then I'll add the carrots. stir it together and I'll be adding one tablespoon of the jalapeno pepper I'll make sure a little bit of the green goes in here and I'll stir it all up I'll let this cook for about a minute before I add the rest of the vegetables after a minute of cooking I'll go ahead and add the one and a half cups of the cut up asparagus. And into this, I'll start off with half cup of water. So half of this will go in. And I'll let this cook for about three to five minutes. Cup it up. After three minutes of um, cooking, I think this looks perfect. Then I'll add the rest of the ingredients, the onion, Stay together, the cucumber, and the red bell pepper. Nice, beautiful color here. And this can go very well with quinoa, which I'll be making later. So I'll be posting this as separate um, videos. So at this stage, you can taste to see if the salt is okay. Okay, I think you need one fourth teaspoon of extra Himalayan salt here. Stir it up, and that should be fine. You can just um, 
take it off at this stage. But for those that do not like their onion very strong, you can cook, cook it for an extra um, two to three minutes. But for me, I think this should be okay. So when it's covered, you know that the cooking process continues. So I'm going to take this off fire. And then there you have the veggie feast that is very great for steamed rice, quinoa, and other um, foods that you like to pair it with. But um, some people will want to make their sauce a little thicker, but I do not want to do that at this, uh, with this particular recipe. But if you want to add some cornstarch, you can just take about half teaspoon to one teaspoon of cornstarch mixed with um, two tablespoons of water and put it in if you prefer to go that route. But today I'm just making it plain and simple, veggie feast. I'll turn off the heat now.